So earlier in the chapter, we did solving solutions of equations by graphing tables, substitution, elimination. We've got two more left. We've got Kramer's rule, which is this video, and then um, in the next section, we're doing inverse matrices. So Kramer's rule, say we've got C, so it says that C be the coefficient matrix of the system. So that means C is the coefficients that we pull right off. That's coefficients we mean the A, the B, the C, and the D. So let C be that coefficient matrix. So we're also going to define two other matrices. So we're going to define C sub X. And what C sub X is, is it's taking the X column and replacing it with these constants on the other side. So this column used to be X's coefficients. We're going to replace it with the constants. And we're going to keep the other coefficients there. And then we're going to define a third matrix, CY. And that's basically the same thing, except we're going to replace the Y column with the constants. So the A and C, those are X's coefficients. Those will stay right in place. And then we're going to replace the Y coefficient with M and N. So remember, this little subscript right here, that represents what column you're replacing, not the column that you're keeping. Here we replace the X column with these constants. Here we replace the Y column with these constants. So the solution of the system. Remember, the solution that you're looking for is an x comma y, and that's going to be the one ordered pair that both lines have, which means it's the ordered pair where they intersect each other. So the x is the determinant of cx divided by the determinant of c, and the y-coordinate is the determinant of cy divided by the determinant of c. All right, so we're going to practice lots of these determinants by hand. Um, and then if C comes out to equal 0, I'm sorry, the determinant of C comes out to equal 0, then there is no unique solution. Now here's the tricky part of that. It's very important to write it exactly like this because being no unique solution could mean one of two things. It could mean there's no solution at all, or it could mean that there's an infinite number of solutions. So what this means is that there's not one solution and one solution only, which again means could be no solution at all or an infinite number of solutions. So it's important to write that phrase specifically. So solve the system using Kramer's rule. We're going to set up the three different determinants. So C... That's the coefficient matrix. So we're going to pull the 5, 4, 3, and negative 2. So to get the determinant, we are going to cross multiply starting at the top left. So 5 times negative 2, and then minus cross multiply from the bottom left, 3 times 4. OK, so 5 times negative 2 is negative 10, minus 3 times 4 is 12. So we end up with a negative 22. And that's not zero, so that means we're good to go on. And then we want the determinant of cx. So remember, for cx, we replace the x coefficients with the constants, 28 and 8. And then we keep the y column exactly the way it was. OK, so start with the top left. We cross multiply 28 times negative 2 minus, then start from the bottom left, cross multiply 8 times 4. So 28 times negative 2 is a negative 56 minus 8 times 4, which is 32. So here we end up with a negative 88. OK, now finally the determinant CY. So CY, we replace the Y coefficients with the constants. So keep X's coefficients in the first column, but replace Y's coefficients in the second column with the constants on the right-hand side here. So start top left, cross multiply, 5 times 8, and then minus cross multiply here, we've got 3 times 28. So 5 times 8 is 40, minus 3 times 28 would be 78. Okay, I'm sorry, it would not be 78. We would have 60 plus 24, so that would be 84. So we subtract here, we get negative 44. Okay, so those are my three determinants. So we use these formulas up here. So x 
is the determinant of Cx divided by the determinant of C, which I have right here. So the determinant of Cx is negative 88 over the determinant of C, which is negative 22. So that simplifies just to a positive 4. And then for y, we take the determinant of cy and divide it by the determinant of c. So the determinant of cy is negative 44, and the determinant of c is negative 22. So that turns out to be 2. Okay, so our ordered pair, the solution is 4, 2. Okay, so let me show you a really cool check on your calculator, and we're actually going to be doing a decent amount with the calculator in this video, so it would be good to have it out and ready. So I am going to go to a calculator page, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take both of my answers and I'm going to store them. So first I'm going to take 4, and I'm going to store it in as X. Remember to store, you hit this control button first, then this button right above the 9, see where it says STO in blue. So I'm going to store 4 in as X, and then I'm going to take 2, and store 2 in as y. People mix this up all the time. People will put y and then store it as 2. You would need to do the opposite. You need to take the 2 and store it in as y. Okay, then what we do is we're going to do a true-false check on both of these equations. So if it's, if it's a solution, if we are right, they should both come out true. So we're going to type this equation first. So 5x plus 4y equals, and the equal is right under the control right here, 28. So practice these while you're watching the videos. That way you kind of will get some muscle memory on where these buttons are on your calculator. So hit enter, and we get true, which means it's the solution of the first one. So if it's a solution of both, that means we are right, and it's a solution of the system. So 3x minus 2y equals 8. And we get a true for this one as well, which means that's definitely our answer. So when you're doing these, you should be able to get through to the answer on your homework, check it on your calculator, and you should know it's right. Very helpful for a test or a quiz. Okay, so now these next ones we've got three by three systems. So Kramer's rule can also be used for systems of three equations. So when you're looking for an ordered triple x, y, z, x is still the determinant of cx divided by the determinant of c, y is still the determinant of cy divided by the determinant of c, and now we have a new one, determinant of cz over the determinant of c. So CZ follows the exact same pattern. You get it by replacing the Z column with the constants. Okay, so we're going to start with C. So determinant of C, this is the coefficient matrix. So I'm just pulling off all the coefficients. The X column is 3, negative 4, and 5. The Y column is 5, 3, and 4. The Z column is 2, negative 5, negative 7. Okay, so remember, we're going to have to set three more determinants up, Cx, Cy, and Cz. So you guys learned how to do these determinants by hand. I'm going to show you how to do the determinants in your calculator because if we had to do, you know, writing the first two columns and doing the triple determinants, determinants four times, these problems would take you absolutely forever. Okay, so here is what you do. We've got, oops, we've got just our main screen here. I was just using these to do the checks. So we can do one of two things. You can hit menu. There's this whole matrix menu that we can use. And then you can take the determinant, three. And then you can go back into the menu, back into the matrix menu, and then create a matrix. Press that. And we want a three by three matrix. Okay, so we are just going to type in our matrix exactly the way it's written here. So 3, and what you do is you hit tab in between every entry. So then 5, hit tab again, 2. So I'm just hitting tab between every entry. Be very careful that they are all entered in properly. Okay, now hit enter. And I end up with negative 330. So that would have been a pain to do by hand. So I get negative 330. So when you guys are doing your homework, quiz, test, what I need to see is the determinants written out. Like I need you to write out what you plugged into your calculator and then you can just give me the actual value. So CX, we are going to replace the X column with these constants over here. So instead of the first column, I'll have negative seven, negative 19, and negative 15. But the Y column and the Z column will be the same.
Okay, so I'm going to plug this into my calculator. Just a little trick. Um, if I just arrow up, see I'm using this arrow right here. You can barely see it in the video, but this is highlighted blue. Once something's highlighted, if you just hit enter, it'll paste it again. So you don't have to go through the trouble of typing everything in. So I'm just going to arrow over, and I'm just going to replace this first column. So replace that with a negative 7, replace this one with a negative 19, and replace this one with a negative 15. That way I don't have to go through the whole menu command again, I don't have to type everything out again. So hit enter. So I get negative 345. Okay, and CY would be the next one. So again, going from this original, I'm just going to replace the Y column with these constants. The other two columns will stay the same. So I'm replacing the Y column with the three constants, keeping the Z column the same. Okay, so that's CY, and again, I need to see it written out on paper first. So now I'm going to arrow up. I'm going to keep arrowing up until I hit my original. And I'm going to replace my Y column with the coefficients. So negative 7 negative 19, negative 15. So this is CY. Get 855. All right, and then determinant of CZ. So remember for CZ, you replace the Z column in the original with these constants on the side. So my original X stays the same. My original Y stays the same. And again, it's the Z column that gets replaced this time. Okay, so I will arrow up. This time I'm arrowing up a handful of times to get back to that original. Press enter, and I am replacing just the Z column. Negative 7, negative 19, and negative 15. Now press enter, and I get negative 465. Okay, so those are the values of my determinants. To get my x, y, z, I am going to combine all of them. So my x value is the determinant of cx over the determinant of c. And if we want to get a reduced fraction, you can type negative 345 divided by negative 330. And I think for a lot of you, I've changed from decimals, or I'm sorry, from fractions into decimals. So if you do want the reduced fraction, hit menu, and then number, and then approximate to fraction. So this reduces down to a negative 23 over 22. I'm sorry, positive. I don't know where I decided that negative came from. So that's x. We can do the same thing with y. So y is 855 cy over 330, which is c. I'm going to plug that in, 855 divided by 330. Menu, 2 for number, 2 again for approximate to fraction. And I get 57 over 22. And finally, z, negative 465 over 330. Oops, I'm sorry, this should be a negative 330, so this should be negative, and this is a negative 330. Negative 465 over negative 330. Menu, 2 for number, 2 for a fraction. Hit enter, and for this one I get 31 over 22. Okay, so those are my lovely values. When I write down my ordered pair, I write this value for x first, the value for y second, and the value for z third. So as obnoxious as this probably seemed, if you think back to when we did the 3 by 3 system, if I had tried to do that triple elimination method, the first answer I would have gotten would have been one of these, and then I would have had to plug this back in it would have been disgusting with these horrible fractions. Sometimes Kramer's rule is actually really helpful because you don't have to plug nasty fractions back in and end up with other nasty fractions. All right, so there's this one. Let's do the same thing over here. So the coefficient matrix C, I'm just gonna pull all these off. So my X column is six, negative one, and five. My Y column is five, three, and negative seven, and Z, two, 7, and negative 3. So to get this first determinant, I am going to plug this into my calculator. So just so you know you can make things a little quicker, you can literally type the D 
E, T down here on the keypad and it'll recognize it without you having to go into the menu. And then you just need to make sure you add your own parentheses. And if you hit this button next to the nine, it has this create your own matrix key right here. Okay, so if you find your way over to that, you can agree that you want to be a three by three and then you can type all the values in. So here are your values. So the first row is six, five, two. So make sure you're hitting tab in between. Then negative one, three, seven. Again, tab in between. And five, negative seven, negative three. Okay, hit enter. And we end up with 384. Okay, so we're gonna repeat the process. We've got CX to find, CY, and CZ. So I'm going to replace my X column with these. And then keep my Y and Z column the same. Okay, I'm going to go back up, copy paste this, and replace my X column. Okay, replace this with negative 1, 12, negative 52. Oops. Okay, so I get a rather large number there, negative 1536. Do see Y, where this time I will place my Y column with the constants. Again, the other two will stay the same. Z column stays the same. So arrow up a couple times back to my original. This time I'm going to replace the Y column with negative 1, 12, and negative 52, and I get 1920. And finally, CZ, replace just the Z column with the constants, and the other two stay the same. So negative 1, 12, and negative 52 in the Z column. So arrow up several times to my original, and replace with negative 1, 12, and negative 52. So I get negative 384. Okay, so I'm gonna get my x, y, and z. So x is negative 1536 over 384. So negative 1536 over 384. Oops. I'm gonna go menu, number, fraction. Oh, it actually came out to be just a nice, neat negative four. So the rest of these might come out nice and neat as well. Let's find out. So y is 1920 over 384. Let's see if that comes out neat. It does, we get five for that one. And z, I can tell, comes out nice and neat. That comes out to be a negative one. So for my order triple, I get negative four, five, and negative one. Okay, and I believe that is our last one, yep.